Hello all, I am Sai and you are watching the book dragon. In today's video, I am bringing to you my May TBR. For May also, I have decided not to construct a very strict TBR. I have just chosen some books in random which I am interested to read in the upcoming days. But these are definitely not going to be the books that I will totally focus on alone. If I feel like picking up other books, I will pick them up and read also. I did the same kind of thing in April also and it worked out really good for me. So I am planning to do the same for May also. I have got like totally 5 to 6 different books in this list. So without any further ado, let's get into the list right away. The first book in this list is definitely one book which I am sure that I will read in May. Because this is the book which I am super excited to get to next. It is Red Sister by Mark Lawrence which is the first book inside the Book of the Ancestor trilogy. Which is an adult grimdark fantasy series. I have heard really great things only about this series from all the people whom I follow on booktube as well as bookstagram. It is a series which focuses on this girl named Nona Gray who gets into this convent called Sweet Mercy where girls are trained to become nuns. But the nuns that we see in this series are not like the normal nuns whom we see in our real life. These are people who are trained in combat as well as magic in order to become magical assassin nuns. That premise itself sounds really intriguing, cool and also very dark in its tone for me. And the main character here is depicted to be a person who is like Arya Stark from Game of Thrones. I am sure anyone who has watched or read Game of Thrones love Arya Stark in one way or the other. She is definitely one of my all time favorite characters. So in order to read a series that focuses on a character who is very similar to her is something which I am very excited to do. I am sure that I will be reviewing the books in the series as I keep reading them. So let's just wait and see how it is going to go. The next one is The Possession of Mr. Cave by Matt Haig. The main reason why I want to read this book is because of Matt Haig alone. Okay, I read his most famous book The Midnight Library in January and I can say that I liked that book very much. It was very hopeful in its tone but this book sounds totally different from that one because from the blurb that I read it is a very dark book. Okay, it's very very short in length so I want to see how the author has managed to pack the darkness that he shows in this blurb. Okay, here we follow this man named Terence who has almost lost everyone in his family except for his daughter. His mother has committed suicide and died and his wife has been murdered successively. After the death of his mother and his wife, his son also dies in an accident. So the only person who is there in his life in terms of family is his daughter Bryony, and he becomes very possessive and he wants to protect her no matter what happens in her life. For this what happens is he imposes a lot of strict rules and because of that the protective tendency in his mind transforms into a kind of possessiveness and because of this he is causing a lot of problems for himself as well as his daughter. The premise itself sounds very dark and unique in its tone so I definitely want to read and see how it goes. So this is definitely a book which I am interested to read in me. Next we have an adult contemporary romance and it is People We Meet on Vacation by Emily Henry. Here we follow two of our main characters Alex and Poppy who have been best friends since college and they have gone on vacation every year for the past 10 years together and work things out but what happens on a particular year is something happens between them and ever since they have not taken a vacation at all. At the same time Poppy is very successful in her career but she feels this kind of rut in her life so she calls Alex and tries to set things right by having one final vacation and whether they will be able to remain as friends or not or something else will happen is the entire plot of this book. I read Beach Read far back in September and I enjoyed that book during that season itself. I want to read this now in May because her next book Book Lovers is getting released on the 12th or 13th of May for us here in India. I am sure that I will be buying it as soon as it gets released but before getting to that one I want to finish reading this. I have really high expectations for this one because I have heard only good things about it. So let's just wait and see how it's going to go. The next one is a literary fiction and it is The Book of Essie by Megan McLean Weir. Here we follow our main character Esther who is 16 years old and she gets pregnant. The thing with Esther is that her whole family is very famous and they are a part of this TV show in which they act together as a family. While she gets pregnant this might spread as a huge news throughout the media so in order to protect her from that her mother chooses to weather raise the child as her own child and pass it on as her own child or to make a really big conservative wedding on the show and make that a blockbuster. At the same time what happens is Esther is also in kind of a relationship with one of the boys from her high school and there is this thing that is happening with her sister also. All these things together should be handled by this family as a whole and I think that will be serious at the same time humorous in some way or the other. If I am not wrong it is a very critically acclaimed book so I am very interested to read it. It's also been sitting on my shelf for the past 6 months so yeah I definitely want to give it a read. The next book is something I'm sure will excite a lot of you guys because you've been asking me to read this for the past one to two years continuously and it is the second book in the Percy Jackson series which is The Sea of Monsters. I've just started listening to the first book in the series which is The Lightning Thief and I can say that I am pretty much liking the tone of the book because it is nice. It is not so much childish as I thought it would to be. So far it is going good and I think that I'll be finishing the book and liking it also. 
and I also don't want to give any gap between the different books inside the series. I'm sure that if I finish reading the first book by the end of April or the beginning of May, I'll be continuing on with the second book also. I'm actually listening to the audio books and I've not bought the physical books and so far it is really good. I think I will like it. Let's just wait and see how it's going to go. So this is the next book inside the TBR. The last book in this TBR is a non-fiction book and it is from the genre of mythology. It is Shyam, an illustrated retelling of the Bhagavata by Devdet Patnaik. I've read many of the other books written by Devdat Patnaik already and I've loved each and every one of them, okay? I like the writing of this author. At the same time, I like the depth of the knowledge that he has in the subject that he's writing about. I also am a person who likes reading mythology very much. This is a book which is also illustrated, so I'm sure that it'll be a really fun time to read this book. I've heard that this one as well as the other two books inside this kind of series that the author has written as retellings of the Ramayana as well as Mahabharata are also good. I want to start with this one because I think it is the latest of all the three books and if I end up liking this, I'm sure that I'll be reading the other two also. Moreover, just see the cover of this book. The illustration itself is really good and the background color of the cover is also very very mild and bright in its tone. So yeah, Shyam and illustrated detailing of the Bhagavata is the last book in my TBR. So yes guys, those are all the books in my May TBR and I hope to finish all of them in May itself. Let's just wait and see how it's going to go. And don't forget to leave your May TBR in the comments below because I'd like to know what are the books that you're going to read. And if you did enjoy watching today's video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and also share it to your friends. If you want to get more content from me, do subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching and have a great rest of your day.